Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel today. I'm getting into new Charlotte Tilbury. I picked up the Beautiful Skin Concealer, the new Airbrush Brightening Powder, and I picked up one of her recent releases, not super new, a new shade of her eyes to mesmerize cream eyeshadows. I picked, I picked up Sunlit Glow. So we're going to be trying all of this today and it's going to be a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I'm going to be using the Beautiful Skin Foundation with the new concealer. We're going to see how they go together. Um, I'm going to be using some old favorites, the Hollywood Flawless Filter, maybe the Beauty Light Wand, um, and I got some little skincare samples to try out as well. So let's get into new Charlotte Tilbury. All right, you guys, I have my skincare on, but I want to use my sample of the Magic Cream as a primer today, not something I normally do. Usually I use like designated primers to prep my face, but I'm pretty sure she uses this cream as a primer, but people use it at nighttime as their night cream. Um, I've tried this before. I think I actually have another sample still. <laughs> this is really um, thick and it's kind of oily in my opinion. So if you have really dry skin, I think you like it. I mean, it's got a slight kind of a fresh fragrance to it. It feels good. I don't mind using this as a primer. I personally didn't love it for just skincare purposes, but I know a lot of people do, so I don't want to hate on it too much. Everyone likes what they like. It does feel very, I don't know, lotion-y, hydrating. It's just on the thicker side, um, which, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. It's just personal preference. It is uh, quite a bit fragrant, so. <laughs> okay, all prepped. Um, I also got this oil, the collagen oil. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna put this on. I probably should have put this one on first. Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil. Got a little sample with my order here. Potent Plant Extracts, okay. I think I used it once. I don't remember what it was like. Um, let me know if you guys like the oil, if you like putting it on before makeup at all. Might be good for some of you. Here's a little magic cream box. Very cute. I love, you know, packaging. Always good. All right. Now let's get into the makeup. We're all about the really brightening today. I have the concealer, the powder, brightening powder. Um, but I'm going to start out with the beautiful skin. I have the shade three cool and this came out earlier this year earlier like january i want to say like really early i think it's one of the first makeup things i I bought this year 2022 and i think i gave it a pretty positive review in my first impressions video but since then i haven't been loving this <laughs> unfortunately it makes me sad here it is um i don't particularly love it because it does it's it's supposed to be like a dewy foundation but it's it never dries down on me and I don't think powder looks good on top of it which is a problem for me so yeah I'm going to apply this though because it, it's the same uh sort of range as the f <laughs> concealer I got and I know Here's a question. Why would I get the matching concealer if I didn't like the foundation? That's a great question. I don't know. I guess I thought maybe a hydrating concealer would be different. <laughs> and maybe I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit more hydrating. I don't know. I just got it. Also, I wanted to get the brightening powder. So I'm just quickly throwing this on with a um, with a sponge it look i think it looks really good on the skin like at first i think my problem with it is just it's such a different foundation for me um because it's not a tint it's not a you know tint and moisturizer it's not and it's also not a typical foundation um it's it's kind of on the i don't know like 
I don't want to say oily, but there's like a lot of juiciness to it, which in theory you'd think would be great. I don't know, it just kind of didn't dry down pretty and just kind of stayed tacky on me. And, uh, you know, I tried to put finishing powder on top, translucent powder, and I just had, you know, not the best kind of wear result with it. New Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up swatches of all the new products I picked up and then we'll get into concealer application. Hopefully those swatches were helpful. I know powder is a little bit hard to see when you swatch it, especially a white powder. All right, let's try this concealer. It looks really light, like scary light. Um, but I like, I've used this a couple times and I've been liking it so far, even though it's pretty light for me, I think the color works. Also, I like the tiny applicator. This is like a normal concealer, how they used to be. It's not huge. I mean, some people love the huge ones, you know, when applying it to your face, you can go quicker you can just apply things quicker. But under the eyes, when I have those big doe foot applicators, I always apply way too much concealer and then I have to like take it all the way up. Um, but this, um, you can't, it's really hard to overdo it with the smaller sort of size uh, sponge tip. So I'm using a damp sponge to blend this out. You can use a brush, you can use your finger, whatever you want to do. You guys can see that. Um, I wouldn't say, no, I didn't use a lot, but it's not full coverage, you know, type of concealer. I think you guys probably figured that just like the foundation, it's not full coverage. Um, but I like that this is not a drying concealer in my opinion, um, but I know some of you, you know, just depends on your personal preferences, what kind of concealer you want to have. So I'm going to put a little bit more so you can see it in action a little bit better. Normally I wouldn't put on more, but for you guys, I want you to be able to see what's happening. Also, the sponge takes up off a little bit. First impressions, I do like the concealer. I wouldn't say it's really like the the foundation, except that it's not full coverage. It's more like medium. It matches the foundation, the, the coverage of the foundation pretty well, um, and, but you can build it up. Similar to the, the foundation, but in a concealer, I think it's it's different. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it better than the foundation, to be honest. Um, okay, so I have the concealer on. I'm going to go into this new airbrush powder. Look at this packaging, you guys. I just dropped it. No. Okay, everything's okay. Look at this packaging. I like the white, the wings, kind of that pearl finish. The mirror, very pretty. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder Packaging. You guys can see the difference there. So I'm going to take a flat sort of soft brush. This is the Wayne Goss number four or Airbrush, I can't remember. I'm just gonna tap some of this powder under here. This is one of those finely milled brightening powders. You can put it all over the face. Um, they sell this concealer and the powder as a set. Wow, that's pretty. I'm not gonna put too much, but it does feel really nice with that. I'm gonna compare it to the the feel of this one. Hmm. Pretty similar, I guess. Maybe a little more lightweight, I guess. Yeah, lighter weight feel. Okay, so I have 
had this foundation on for a minute so when I broke for swatches um, I took care of a couple things and now we're back. <laughs> so I feel like I've had some time to, for this foundation to set in. It's still kind of tacky. Um, my biggest complaint with this foundation, the tackiness, and it's still there. But I have a couple other products to apply before I powder my face. And I have my Hollywood Flawless Filter. I actually got a sample card of all these shades of the Hollywood Flawless Filter. So I have the lightest one here already. I've had it for a while. I don't know that these other ones would really fit me. Dabble this kind of all over. And use my finger. You do have powder under the eyes already, so you wanna avoid that area, but this is a really easy product to use and it's just instant glow my liquid highlighter beauty <laughs> light wand now why would I need both you don't but the light wand is more impactful you guys can tell it's just more is more with that one this is a uh, spotlight we can go ahead and move on to powder since this is the only Charlotte Tilbury powder I have for the all over the face, I'm gonna use this with this foundation, which this is a finishing powder. It's not exactly a setting powder, but we're gonna use it like one. And then I'm gonna go back in with the brightening powder in certain areas, you know, besides under my eyes. I already did that, but uh I know people love this powder. I think it's okay. I mean, I haven't used it that much because I just have other powders I like more. But I know some people like swear by it. Now I'm gonna go in with the airbrush. Maybe brighten up my forehead. I don't know where to put a brightening powder on the cheeks. Where do you guys put brightening powder? I know this is a logical spot. I'm just, whatever. Do I look bright? <laughs> hmm. I do like the brightening powder because it's lighter weight. Um, I don't know, maybe this will replace this for me and I'll just use it all over, you know? Okay, so I have all the complexion stuff on. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'll be back. Okay, so as we get into this new sh shade sunlit glow of the eyes to mesmerize cream shadow it's such a pretty duochrome um, i'm going to throw up swatches of this and then compare it to the other shade from charlotte tilbury that i have the rose gold also i'm going to compare it to the tom ford cream color for eyes in the shade number three sphinx to me, this is a really close dupe, you guys. And I, as soon as I saw the shade, I'm like, this looks like the Sphinx shade I already have. Um, did I need both? No, but I really wanted to compare these two. I do like the color, so I don't mind having a ton of product in it. I will say there's a big, there's a significant price difference between Tom Ford and Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I would say these cream, eyeshadows are really really similar that going for Charlotte Tilbury as long as you like the colors makes a lot more sense because it's less money also Charlotte Tilbury used to make used to create makeup for Tom Ford so this is why these products are so similar um, and she made a really similar color and I don't know if other people have brought this to up but I immediately was like that is the same uh, so just so you guys know, if you already have this color from Tom Ford, you do not need sunlit glow, but I'll show, um, the swatches so you can make a decision for yourself. I do.
I do feel like this one has more pigment and the Tom Ford one is slightly more sheer. I think this is the superior product if I had to choose between the two, just ignoring price. I would pick up the Charlotte Tilbury one if you don't have either. Um, but I'm going to apply this on my eyes with my finger. Ugh, this is such a, I love, this is probably my top favorite product from Charlotte Tilbury is her cream eyeshadow. So good. I know some people don't like cream eyeshadows or this product in general. They just don't get along with it, but I love it. And this freaking shade is so nice. Now, a lot of liquid shadows that, that are shimmery, when you blend them out, you get glitter. Same deal with this one. Um, you have some shimmery, glittery, but very small, not huge chunks or anything. Um, so you just want to be uh, aware of not like really blending out a lot. Because <laughs> you might get a little bit of sparkly fallout. Um, but you know, it's okay to kind of tap and remove that excess. You won't, you don't want like tons of thick product sitting on your lid without being <laughs> blended at all. But this is such a pretty, pretty shade. You can use it just like this, a sheer wash by itself. Usually having like a, a crease shade because it's so light uh, to go along with it. But we're just using all Charlotte Tilbury today. I do have one quad. <laughs> from this brand, but I'm not gonna reach for it. We're just doing this guy today. I love this color so, so much. Um, so I don't have an eyeliner or mascara from this brand. I've tried the push-up lashes, wasn't a fan. So I'm going to do all of that off camera and I'll be back. We'll get into the new lip liner I picked up this is Iconic Nude. I picked up a new shade. I had the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat before, and I heard this kind of brown nudie one was really good, so we're going to try that out. All right, guys, the mascara I use is the MAC MAC Stack. Um, this is a new one for me. I know a lot of people love it. I actually really like it as well. Um, it's not complicated. It does what it, <laughs> it lengthens. It looks good. The eyeliner I used was the About Face one, Line Artist, and this a brown, it's equestrian, and it is water long wear gel liner. It's a nice one. I do have a little bit of clumping of mascara underneath my eyes, but you know, you know the drill. That's just what I do with my mascara. I'm not the best at it. Okay, so this one and done eyeshadow I think is pretty. But I just wanted to mention if you guys want a little bit more depth, if, if this is too light for you, my favorite shade from this, uh, from this product, Eyes to Mesmerize, is Oyster Pearl. This is my favorite shade. It's taupe and a little bit goes a long way, like super, super pretty. And it's got a lot going on to it. It's not just a flat taupe shade that's shimmery. You know, it's got some dimension to it and I just, I love it. There is another <laughs> shade like this, Tom Ford cream product. I believe, I don't remember the name of it, but it's pretty similar. So it gives you um, a lot more of a noticeable wash of color, like from far away. This, you kind of have to be close up in the light to kind of see the shift but this one you will notice even easier so that is the eye products let's get into this lip liner that i have been using a lot already here it is i'll go ahead and throw up swatches as i apply This is Iconic Nude, not a new shade. I think Taylor Wynn on YouTube, if you haven't seen her channel, check her out. She likes this liner a lot, this color. But this one kind of gives that contoured look. Um, and it's a pretty 
good tone I think for my skin so now which lipstick do I want to pair with it I don't actually have lip products from Charlotte Tilbury I have a little sample lipstick though so I'll throw this on <laughs> this is the walk of no shame uh, I can't read this I'm not sure which it looks like a cream maybe matte I don't know I don't know if this is gonna go with this lip liner. I, I maybe I won't use it because I want to show off the lip liner. Kind of want to have a contoured look, and if I have a dark lipstick on, you won't be able to see that. So I want to do something lighter. Maybe I'll just do a gloss. This is the Chanel 804 Rouge Cocoa Gloss. It's pretty much clear. I know this is kind of popular, well, it has been for years now. <laughs> lip liner in just gloss. This dark of lip liner with an essentially clear gloss is not something I normally <laughs> or do. But we're trying something new. This reminds me of like a 90s lip. Here's our final look. I know I'm missing blush. I don't have a Charlotte Tilbury blush. Okay, so I'm gonna take some close-up shots and give you my final thoughts. All right, so this is the final look. I think it's, it's fresh, it's pretty. I do like the concealer, but it's not gonna move mountains. You can still see my little eye creases, even though I set it with a new powder. You know, even though I set it with a new powder, you guys can see my fine lines. It's not gonna defy nature. <laughs> um, it's, you know, it's a good concealer. I like it. I think I'm gonna get some use out of it. I don't hate it. I like it better than the foundation. I mean, right now my fan, you know, this foundation looks fine. I do feel like the wear on it is not as pretty as I want it to be. But uh, moving on from that, let's get into this packaging. <laughs> The box packaging claims on here, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but I think it's important to remind yourself that what this promises is not reality. And if you guys saw in my close-up photos of the under eye, if you know you really want to cover everything up with a concealer, this is not it. This one is more about if you have texture preferences, if you want something that isn't drying you out, not super full coverage, if you just want something that maybe gets rid of a little bit of discoloration not completely i think this will concealer will work for you the powder does add a little bit of brightness but it's not like the brightest powder i've ever seen i mean it looks pretty it's natural looking let's read the box of the airbrush powder first this is science plus color complexion perfecting eye and face micro powder powder brightening blurring lit lifting effect targets dark circles and shadows. I think there's an improvement from my bare skin, but I mean, how much can it really do? It has hyaluronic acid, golden vitamin C, collagen, Lumi Blur Light Bounce Tech. Apply under eyes along smile lines into any areas you want to appear brighter, alone or over airbrush, flawless finish. So you're supposed to use this first, then put this, or you can use this alone. I kind of did that, right? Clinically proven results. Skin looks smoother and brighter by 80%. Reduces appearance of wrinkles by 81%. I don't know about that. Definitely not happening. Dark circles appear reduced by 71%. I think everyone makes fun of these claims. Charlotte Tilbury, you guys need to get this stuff off the box. Um, okay, that's kind of it. It says 30 people tested after one hour. Like that's, is that a, I don't know. Going off 30 people's opinions with that one. Here is the concealer box. This also pretty much says the same thing. Clinically proven results, conceals, corrects, brightens, lifts, medium buildable coverage, 16 hour wear. Um, clinically proven results, dark circles reduced by 40%. That's funny, you get the brightening powder apparently does a better job of reducing dark circles than the concealer. Um, skin looks smoother and more radiant, 43%. Boost hydration, 173%. 
hyaluronic acid, golden vitamin C. Okay, what else? That's kind of it. Um, if I didn't mention the concealer that I'm using is number two, Pale Fair. Should have mentioned that at the beginning. This is a really light shade. Cool toned. Again, 30 men and women tested over four weeks. Not a lot of people to put these claims on the box. Um, okay, here's the box packaging of the lip liner. Just that classic copper, rose gold, and brown. Lip Cheat. Love the Lip Cheat. I'd say my favorite products from this brand are the lip pencils and the cream eyeshadows. I really like them. Okay, guys. That's it for the video. Hopefully, you learned something about yourself. Um, that this makeup is pretty enough. The concealer does not dry you out if that's the main thing you're looking for and you want to try something from, you know, you want a new concealer from this brand, try that one out. Um, it's probably, most full coverage concealers are really dry. That's just the nature of them. This one is not full coverage and it's hydrating. So if that's what you're looking for, it's hard to have both. In my opinion, it's hard to have full coverage and hydrating. Um, but I will say, just moving my face around, smiling, talking to you, you guys can see those little wrinkles. So that ain't go away. I'm okay with it though. Just want you to have a realistic picture of what this stuff can do. Let me know if you guys want me to try anything else from Charlotte Tilbury. Please comment below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.